Hi everybody, welcome on this video uh, from Import from Web. Uh, in that video, I'm going to show you how you can write and use uh, Atom and how you can write your first Import from Web function. Um, so you've probably just installed the Atom and now we're going to teach you how to use it. Uh, so the first thing to do is obviously open a new spreadsheet like this one. And the first thing to be done is to go into your extension menu to activate the add-on. So I just open the menu. I find import from up here and I activate the add-on so that the add-on is associated to this spreadsheet and you can start using the import from web function. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, the function is associated only to this spreadsheet. So anytime you want to use import from web, you have to activate the add-on again. So once activated, I have a sidebar uh, opening on the right. Um, I'm going to dip into that, dive into that later. Just open the monitor tab, which can be very useful. And I'm going to show you how to use it. Well, so basically, import from web is a function. And as any other Google Sheet function, uh, it requires argument that you have to input into the function. So uh, let me write import from web and show you. So the function requires two main arguments, two main data arguments, which are URLs, uh, meaning the page or the pages you want to scrape the data from. And the second argument are the selectors, meaning the, the way to localize the element you want to scrape into the web page. So this is on that part I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, dive into deeper and explain you. Selectors, uh, as I mentioned, can be found different ways. So import from web accepts XPath or CSS selectors, uh, but we also have developed and configured some built-in selectors for the main websites, main major platforms such as Amazon, Google, Google Maps, uh, Instagram, etc. So I will illustrate the three cases, um, XPath, generic selectors, and built-in selectors. So let's start first with uh, XPath, and I will show it to you. I will demo it with a simple example coming from eBay. So I have here a coffee machine on eBay.com, and let's imagine I want to get the, the title of the page or the product and its price. So the first thing I have to do is to take the URL, copy it, and paste it on my spreadsheet, just like that. The second thing is I'm going to find into the source code of the page, the, the XPath. So opening the Google console, um, I will retrieve the XPath of the two elements I want to collect from that page. So the first one is the title of the page. I'm going to the XPath, I copy it, and I paste it in that column. Uh, I'll do the same with the price of this coffee machine. Again, I take the X pass, okay, and I paste it. Please note that eBay is quite simple and quite easy to find elements into its page. Uh, for many websites, that process is much more complex and unless you have HTML knowledge or, or technical skills, uh, that can be complex for you to do that. So in that case, for sure, uh, we provide services to assist you in localizing the, the right element on the page. Um, so now I have my two arguments, so the URL and the data I want to scrape. So let's start with the name, with the, with the product name. And as explained, I just import, import from web, just like that. Um, the first thing is the URL, and the second thing is the product name, so this selector. So I close the brackets, I validate, and now the scraper controlled by the function is going to the page and inside the page capture the product name, just like this. So here you have, you have the Philips coffee machine we've just seen, uh, we've just, uh, seen on the page. Um, with import from web, you can scrape more than or multiple data points at a time. So instead of just calling C2, meaning the product name, let's call the product prices as well. So just like that, I go from C2 to D2, I validate, and you see 
I will get post uh, pieces of data, just like this. Um, now, so you see it's quite easy. Now I will show you that why shall we scrape one URL at a time? We can scrape many more URL at a time. So I have here um, a data source with, well, then 10 or 15 eBay product page, coffee machine again. So I just paste them in my original spreadsheets, just like that. Okay, and now I will show you. I will show you how to retrieve the data for uh, this all these URLs. So as any other function, import from web can be either dragged down. So I just show you. I put the dollars into my selectors, and then once done, I just have to drag down the function, just like this. So. What's happening now, the scraper is going to every single eBay page and capture the data you asked for. Um, the other way to do that, let me just remove this. The other way to do that is to, within the same pod from an initial function, to say, hey, I don't want only B3, meaning that first page, but I want to go up to B16, okay? Just like that. I'll show you the function again. So I go from B3 to B16 to capture these two elements inside the pages. Um, just know that import from web can scrape up to 50 URLs at a time. So I really use or recommend to, to drag down to the function that I showed you previously so that you can scrape up to, I don't know, 100,000 URLs much more easily. So this is the eBay example I've just show you, showed you how to scrape data using XPath or CSS selectors. Uh, another quick example is with Wikipedia. I'm gonna look for the Empire State Building page on Google. So I take the Wikipedia page here. So as explained, I just have to take the URL of the page, I go back to my spreadsheet. I input the, the, the URL here, and I'm going to retrieve some element of the page, very basic element you'll see, uh, through the universal uh, selectors that are H1, meaning different main title of the page. If you know a bit of HTML, that sounds similar for you, uh, familiar for you. And the second thing is a title to capture the meta title of the page. Um, easy i just input the function as previously shown um url at the first argument and then my two selectors at a time i close the bracket and i can validate and it's done you'll get both h1 of the page and meta title now the last example i want to show you is um how to use our built-in selectors i've mentioned that our job at nodana no business with import from web is to give to, to to set up major websites so that data scrapping becomes fully no code you just have to use selectors we have pre-configured so i'm going to show you that on our web page you have the import from web documentation and we have selectors for built-in platforms just here you see, the, I'll, I'll put the link in, into the description of the video. And you see, we have configured already Amazon, Yahoo Finance, Google, Map, Google Maps, Walmart. So if I go to the Amazon product page, that page, you'll see that we have configured more than 60 data points on any Amazon product page, any Amazon store, any Amazon product page. Uh, so here are the data points we have configured. So what you have to do is to take the label, the selector we have we have configured, and input that selectors into your function. So this is what I'm going to do with um, an Amazon product, which is bicycles, bicycle, bicycle basically. So I first take the product URL copy it and paste it inside my, my spreadsheet. And now let's decide the data points I want to get from that page. We'll collect uh, the title of the, uh, of, the, of the product. We'll collect the sale price. As mentioned, 
in that section, sell price give you the sell price of the product. Basically, uh, I'm interested also in getting the 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 source of the main image, the path of the main image. So let's put it here. And uh, the last thing I want to get is the the rating, the average rating of the products. Um, let's do it the other way, just like this. Okay. So now I have my uh, selectors ready. I have my product URL. So as I've shown you, this is quite easy. So I input in both from web with its uh, argument. So first the product page and then uh, selectors. I close the, the, the formula, I validate, and I'm just looking at the, at the um, data coming just like this. Um, okay, there's something wrong. I hope not. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, in the meanwhile, I will go into my, my data source and I will take like some other product pages, product bi bicycle, uh, Amazon bicycles. Um, I input them here. Okay. Let's make a clean table like this. Okay. So for the first product, yeah, we get it already the what we wanted to get. And yeah, again, I have less than 60 euro, uh, 50 euros. So either I can, I can call them within the same function or fix my selectors with the dollar symbol and just drag down the function and see the data coming. What's interesting in the sidebar, in the, with the sidebar, this is what I wanted to show you, is you can follow your scrapping um, progression within the monitor tab. Uh, you can see, okay, the number of success um, pages of the success, uh, yeah, of the, of the scrapping successes, the pending one and the fail. For any function into your spreadsheet, you can monitor uh, the results or get more details about the function. So you just select the cell you're interested in. So let's say the first one, you select the cell with this red button and now you get it. So you see like the metadata of the, of the, of the function. Uh, you see the source page as seen by the scraper and in case of any error, you have some details in that part. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is uh, within this tab also, thanks to the sidebar uh, of the other, you can um, always replay the data and fetch the page, fetch, the, fetch them again. So you just select either one function and you press the run, bu the run button here, just like this and you'll see the scraper will call the live data again, or you can select all the active sheets, uh, all the function within the active sheets or all the fun functions within your spreadsheet. So many eBay function and Wikipedia function as well. Um, so this is to get the live data at the moment. You can also automate your scraping with a uh, trigger function and set um, daily, weekly, or hourly uh, triggers so that data is captured um, live even while you're offline. So you just close your spreadsheet and you set it up so every morning, every every week, uh, the scraper import from web will fetch uh, the, the data for you. Um, well, I think this is it. Uh, I just invite you to give a check to our templates section as well, where you can find, uh, I would say, pre-made solutions where instead of writing yourself the function, you can directly play with uh, our templates. Uh, let's check the Google Maps one just as an example. Just press on it and you see that this is even um, even easier to capture data following our template. Um, so it can take um, a few seconds to load because there are a lot of uh, elements uh, to load on the, uh, within your spreadsheet. And yeah, I will just input what it asked me. So as I know it already, I open Google Maps. 
And let's let's look for I would say again the Empire State Building page within Google Maps. So here you are. So what I'm going to do is I take this URL, okay, which is a place URL. I go back to my file and yeah, this is how it looks to the templates. Um, you, I just have to select the Google Map page or paste it here. I paste the page that I'm interested in. Okay, and here I can select the data I want to collect. So either the image, in, image show the name, the address, the website, the rating, reviews, anything from the Google page, from the Empire State Building page, that page. Okay, and I just select uh, the, the, the templates and import from web uh, do the job. So here you have it. You have the name, you have the address, the phone number, the website, categories, rating. Uh, I really hope that video will help you to get started with Import from Web. For sure, we will remain available for any question. Just contact us through our website or YouTube page. Just mention us uh, in your comments and we'll be uh, happy to help you for any question you have.